What is up, everybody? How's every How's everyone doing? We're in Florida right now visiting my pop, and he lives next to where the Truman Show was filmed, so I thought it'd be fun to go show you guys Truman's house and where he worked and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you some, some nice little sights on the way. So to get to Truman's house in that area for the movie, just fast forward through the video if I am that annoying, so I know everyone's going to fast forward. Anyway, here's my beautiful baby. Hey, everyone. <laughs> so yeah, just guys, the, the weather out here is so incredible. The thunderstorms are intense and the rain comes down in buckets. So anyway, once we get to this beautiful bridge where literally it's the longest bridge and on both sides, it's, it's, it's water as far as you can see. It's crazy. I can't wait to show you guys. So anyway, as I said, the Truman Show stuff will be in about five minutes. Good to hear from you guys. A lot of you wanted me to make a video while I'm out here. So here it be. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, we're coming up to that bridge where I said there's, a, there's water as far as the eye can see on both sides here. Look at this, watch this, and it's a long bridge. You, you guys are gonna trip out. Look at that. Look at all, it's just so beautiful over here where my dad lives, you guys. You know, you can't really see it out the windshield, but look over there on that side. Again, over here. We're probably going to record the whole bridge because it's not too long. But it's still a really good sized bridge. Let's see here. People fly out here. They drive so fast. But they're probably so used to all the rain constantly. When it's not raining, the humidity is about 90 plus percent, seemingly all the time. I'll bet maybe it does when they have big storms where the wind's blowing, like hurricanes. All right, let me just get a little more windshield wiper action here. Yeah, hopefully you guys can tell how much water there is over here. It's just such a beautiful place, you guys. I'm so lucky to be here. Hey, baby, let me get this right by you here. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And then over here, it's something else. Now we're going up high. Hang on, babe. One, one more time over here. I'm excited to do, to do this Truman Show thing for you guys. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Oops, there's a lot of traffic here. I better slow it down. Look at as far as the eye can see, water on both sides of this bridge. Pretty amazing how they built this bridge, I must say. But yeah, we're right here. And we're just about into this, the town called Seaside, which is where the Truman Show is. Not a far drive. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the bridge. So I will let you guys go and we'll see you in just a couple minutes. Hopefully we can find parking. It's like parking on the Balboa Peninsula. There's never any parking. And this place is so beautiful. Talk to you guys soon. Let's see here. Oh yeah, beautiful. All right, you guys, I know it's raining a lot, but we are in that town. We are in Seaside. And uh, also we're gonna record at the end on our way back, uh, the bridge that Truman and his wife are on when he has her steer while he hits the gas to get across out of the town. We just went over it, but we're gonna record it the same direction that he went on to leave town. And then where it says there's a big forest fire and a big fire comes out from under the road and all that stuff. So yeah, we are here in Seaside and we are 700 feet away from the street where his house is. So we're just gonna keep it recording. It's horrible that it's raining this hard, but look at this place guys. We're, we're here, man. It's beautiful. It is. It is gorgeous, isn't it? 
All right, so let's see here. Look at this, guys. You guys are going to trip out. And then I'm going to park real quick. Here's the street, Nanchez. And it's this house right up here on the left-hand side. Looks like there's some people stopped right in front of it to check it out also. Crazy. Here it is. Imagine living in that house where people stop in your house every day. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Actually, it's it's 31. So we're we're just gonna jump out real quick and check out 31. It is pouring, so that kind of sucks. But hang on, guys. Oh, that's crazy! Look, guys. Hey, sure, bro. Yeah. Guys, I'm not the only one checking out the Truman Show house. <laughs> All right. Is that it? There yeah, we man. go. Boom. <laughs> good evening, good afternoon, and good night. <laughs> yeah, you got it, brother. So that's Truman's house, everybody. And when he's over on this side of the street talking to... Uh, his neighbor, when he's like, good morning, and if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And it's pouring, oh my gosh. It's pouring like crazy. But yeah, guys, that's the Truman Show house right there. That's Truman's house, now we're, oh my gosh. Holy smokes. On the way back, we might come stop again to get a better picture if it stops raining. It's just thunderstorms, so it should stop soon. Hang on. You know what, guys? So we just left Truman's house. We're going to drive through the neighborhood that you guys are very, very familiar with because of the movie. And I'm going to try to find that roundabout where he just drives in circles, deciding whether he's going to go to Fiji or not. <laughs> or, or Atlantic City. Truman, you don't like to gamble. All right, let's see here. Where is that? I, I, I don't know where that roundabout would be, but I know where. I'm trying to look at. I, this is. Oh man. I just really wish that you guys could be here and, and see this in person. It's pretty awesome. And we're coming up to the area where he went to work. Oh, you know what? This could be. Let's see here. We're going to turn left here. Street really? Yeah, take us there, babe. And then we're gonna drive around it a few times. Zero just point four, four minutes away. Okay, where? How do we get there, honey? Oh, we're going the right way anyway. Okay, here we go. No, it's it's totally fine. Yeah. We're gonna to want to turn left here. Oh, guys, this is so cool. We're doing the Truman Show tour. Whoa! Joey Butterfuko, man! If anybody got that. You're old. You're awesome. <laughs> hey, Joey Butterfuko, man! <laughs> <laughs> So this is all in the movie. Sorry about the windshield wipers, guys, but not much I can do about it. And, and hopefully when we get to the round, the roundabout, it, there's, uh, there, there aren't many cars, so we can just go in circles a couple times like he did in the movie. But I'm telling you, what a, what a beautiful place, you guys. I thought this movie was done on a Hollywood set. I didn't think that this town was real. And, and, and when Rachel and I got here a few days ago, we were driving through here to get to my dad's house. And I looked at my my dad's stepson. Uh, it's my dad's girlfriend's son. And he, he, my dad's been with her for over 20 years. Cool dude. Um, but I was like, hey, this looks like Truman Show. Not thinking that it was. And he's like, well, it is. And I'm like, no way. And then he he decided to drive me by Truman's house. So we, we went by Truman's house. And this is actually for my brother-in-law, Lawrence, because I know he's gonna be really happy seeing this. So my wife says, right, baby? Mm -hmm. So Lawrence, my bro, 
the roundabout's coming up. I hope uh, hope you enjoy it. Gotta make a left here. Here we go. As soon as you know, I found out that it was the area of the Truman Show. I said, "Oh my gosh, we have to send it to my brother." Yeah, totally. We have to. Totally. I mean, seriously though, doesn't this feel like a movie set type of a neighborhood, you guys? This is crazy. All right. I mean, I feel like I'm on a movie set. It here, doesn't even feel real. Here we go, guys. We're coming up to the roundabout. Hello street. Watch there be like 10 cars there doing it, going, <laughs> going in circles. <laughs> but how, how, how cool is that, guys? When we pulled up, someone else pulled up because they wanted to yeah, see... It's so small. It, it is right here, guys. It's tiny. This is it. This is it. So we're gonna just gonna go around it a few times <laughs> as he's hauling some serious butt. He's like, hey, we're gonna go to Fiji. Oh, look, he stopped now, and there, there's no traffic. So we're we're gonna let 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 them go. They probably know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> They're probably like, oh, not more tourists. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> but yeah, and then when he pulls out onto the main street when all of a sudden there's no traffic that's the direction we're going right now at first you remember all the cars pulled out here to make traffic so he couldn't get anywhere but then he went he backed up this whole street and then turned around and came right back down and he's like oh look no traffic now this is it i hope you guys go back to the truman show to see this part but yeah, this is awesome sauce. And now we're going to go to where he went to work. If I can... Oh, gosh. Yikes. So, sorry, baby. <clears throat> sorry, babe. That's okay. All right. This neighborhood has such incredible houses, though, you guys. Look at the size of these monsters on the beach. The beach is just on the other side of these big, beautiful houses. And just like in Big Red, I don't know if you noticed, but... These houses have names, like in Big Bear, there's Bear Cabin, Moon Ridge Cabin. Here, these houses also have names, like Daydream Retreat. Well, if they're if they're rental properties. All yeah. those houses we just passed, every single one of them had a name. They had a name, huh? Mm -hmm. I didn't see any of them named Nicholas. <laughs> kind of makes me mad. That would be the best name for a house. But yeah, guys, these houses right here on the on the beach are just something something else. I mean, look at these houses. Babe, hey, thanks for finding that roundabout for us. That's awesome. Hopefully, we didn't pass the downtown. You know what? I think we may have passed that downtown area finding the a roundabout. Find, yeah, please find me where Truman's office is. So that was actually a stop where my dad's girlfriend, she wanted to stop at this shirt store to buy her, her grandson, I think, a shirt or, or her granddaughter a shirt. And it just happened to be in that same area. That's where I came to the realization that we were where the Truman Show is. I was like, no. Oh, so it's back. Okay, so we're. I'm going to shut this off because we have to turn around, but we're going to... Turn around and head back there right now, okay guys? So hang tight. Hope you guys are enjoying the Truman Show thing. Guys, so we are back on. So check, as I said, when, when we get up to this place, I don't think they'll let us drive our car um, into that, that little business district like they did in the movie. But we will see, we shall see. What a what a pretty little town, huh, guys? So beautiful. Right, right, my beautiful Brian. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. oh I did. I did. You got her good. You're horrible. It's raining anyway. <laughs> And you know what? I couldn't really swerve out of the way, babe. Yeah, right. I saw you. <laughs> That's classic. All right, so where are we going, honey? Straight ahead. Okay, and then Still straight ahead, and it's then on the right-hand right right side. Well, yeah, we can see it. Seaside. 
Savannah by the seaside. Okay. Savannah. Again, it's, it's it's unfortunate that it's raining when. Oh, okay. Here we come. So I'm going to point out the information sign. It's one of the first clips in the movie where it kind of shows where he works. When it's panning into that clip, this big information sign that I'm going to zoom in on right here. That sign is in the movie, and this whole area is in the movie right here. Yes, yep, this is it right here. So, so we're gonna see about. Do you think maybe you could sit in, or no, I don't want you sitting. I'm sure we can find parking. Oh, I, I feel like okay. We can. okay. I, I'm confident that we can. But yeah, that's all in the movie right there. These little food trucks are not. But, oops, it's pouring. I don't want it to pour in my dad's car. Here's the beach right here. This is where he runs out onto the beach and, uh, has has a kiss with that girl out there so yeah here we go let's uh let's just oh wait we can't turn turn right there it says it says no right turn but that's where it is we're gonna go over there somehow guys so hang tight i'm gonna look for for some parking and, and we're gonna walk that whole area for you guys do you really baby kind of there's one like in the in between these two cars i don't know I don't think it is. Golf cart. Oh, great. Golf cart parking. What about oh, damn. Cars? I just missed a spot. Oasis parking. Um, What about this one? Toe away zone. <laughs> okay, this guy is pulling out here. Well, anyway, guys, we're going to try to find a place to park. So hang tight, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna shut it off until we start walking this way, okay? Hey guys, we're coming around to where the office is. There's my beautiful baby. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go out to the street and walk in. It's called karma. All right, guys. I wish we had my drone. I got my umbrella. But here it is. Here's the whole area where his office is and we'll walk up to the office as well. We'll take the street that they drive on. Here it is. Here's that big green belt. It's a beautiful place. It really is a beautiful place. And then we'll find Truman's office up here. We're just gonna walk around this green belt and then we gotta go because I don't know if we're parked legally. I don't wanna be that guy. So there's a bunch of people standing in front of this building, which I think is where the office was. Oh, really? That's right, the twins. You know what, maybe that was the office. Oh wait, no, this has to be it right here. It had a revolving door. I could be wrong, but I think this is it right here. Right, babe? Yeah. I think. I don't know. Hard to say. But look at this, guys. This is it. This is this is the uh, the area. Babe, can we get a beach dog? Um, I don't want to get a ticket, honey. If you want to run and grab one, go for it. While you record. Yep. Okay, but I want you to show them that cute little post office too. Is it in the movie? Okay, I'm doing something for the... Okay, baby. Oh, all right. Fair enough. Okay, so for some reason, I think that's where the office was, but I could be wrong. Right there. I could be wrong. Um, baby, do you have your phone? Can you look and see which building the uh, Truman's office was? Sure. Thanks. While we're doing that, I'm just going to take a nice look at this beautiful place. 
so this was called Sea Haven in the movie, I think, but it's it, it's actually called uh, uh, Seaside. Wow, it's so 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 beautiful. Baby just got her nails, feet, and fingers done. <laughs> Can I tell you this? I got my ring. <laughs> Three oh two. Here's sixty three. Are you sure? Ruskin Street? Are we on Ruskin Street? This is it. At least this is where they you know where they were walking and sweeping was right along this sidewalk right here. And there, you know, the Truman, it's telling me about the old show. It's not telling oh, me about the movie, okay. so let me do Right here thing. is where Truman steps into the middle of the road and almost gets hit by the bus. And then he sticks his arms out and stops the bus. And then he stops the next car coming the other direction. But yeah, I'm going to pause it for a moment. And then when we figure it out, I will let you guys know. So hang tight. All right, guys, I guess the post office was in the movie because we're looking at movie set stuff about it. And that is the famous post office in the movie. So my wife was very right about that. Not on purpose. <laughs> not on purpose. <laughs> I'm even right when I'm not trying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was one of these buildings over here that was the office, but let's see here. I wonder if, if that's a sign at the post office that says something about the Truman Show, but maybe not. All right, babe, we'll just walk down to the end and then. Just remember it was a revolving door. But let me just get one more good look. See, people are taking their own pictures. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, where's. I got the kids out of the car. Good, good. I had to give up my umbrella, though. Where's his office? I don't know, but this is the famous post office. That's the famous post office. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta find a local. Okay, okay. I like your hat. Thank you. My name's Costa. Nice, Costa. Right <laughs> on, brother. Right on, brother. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. I got the kids out. Yeah, good. Good, you good, know, good. Good, good man. Good. Well, cool. Uh, yeah, have a safe rest and of your you journey, too. man. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank Enjoy. you. You too, bro. Do you want me to take a picture of you guys? You know what? No, yeah. Thou, can you give him your uh, camera, baby? Thank, Thank you, you, Costa. You probably got the better camera, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have the right. small little iPhone. Oh, there we go. See you tonight. Tonight. Post office. Oh, I know, I know. Recording. Wait, Babe. Whatever you guys want. Do a video? And then, and then I'll... This is awesome. Right, this is awesome. We, we are at the post office seaside. It's raining, but it's great. And I'm going to take a couple pictures. All right, you guys enjoy. Costa, Thank you're the man. <laughs> Good seeing you. Thank you, You'll Costa. Never forget me now. Costa. Of course not, man. That's right. Of course not. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, take Costa. Care. Thanks, my bro. Take care. You take care, okay? That was cool, babe. All right, baby. Thank you. Later, man. You didn't? Did he get any picture of it? That's all right. But this whole area was in the movie also, right above, like right where the top of the camera is, they had all those awnings, the red and red and white awnings or something like that. But yeah, this is all part of the movie. And as I said, when they pan in at, at like three or four minutes into the movie, this is, you'll see that sign that says Seaside Real Estate Information. It might say Sea Haven in the movie, but yeah, let's just uh, get one more look here. And then our next stop's gonna be um, driving across that bridge. That's too bad he didn't get us. He might've, he might've pushed stopped and it saved it. I have to check. I'm sure yeah. he did, babe. I hope so. Yeah. All right, and then right across the street, you guys, is the beach.
Well, that was cool. And the water is so hot, you guys. We went in the water yesterday. It was nice and sunny yesterday, so we got to go experience I, the beach, and the water was hot. And I, I recorded a small clip of, of my wife way the heck out in the water. I think they'll serve me quick, so I'll meet you back at the car, okay? Do you want a hot dog? No, babe. Just, uh... Grab something quick. Okay. All right. Only because I don't want to get a damn ticket. But yeah, let me, uh, I'm just going to go back over to this side real quick so we can keep on focusing on this place. I don't think this, this little amphitheater was here. Well, I'm sure it was in the movie, just not this big old white uh, roof or canvas. But guys, how cool is this? The Truman Show, man. I know I'm such a total dork. And all these food trucks, the other day when we drove in to get to my dad's house, because you have to drive through here, it was unbelievably packed here. I mean, I'd never seen food trucks with so many people, even in like LA, these food truck lines were all the way down where those people are crossing the street. It was crazy. So anyway, we're gonna stop it for a moment. Hope you guys are enjoying your time with us. Love y'all. Right, guys we're just gonna walk back to the car and just do the last little filming here remember we're gonna go across that that bridge for those of you who are Truman Show fans you'll know which bridge I'm talking about it's when he's trying to escape town like I told you guys earlier but he has a fear of crossing water so he hits the gas and makes his wife steer and that's what we are going through right now so that's what we're gonna do next but for right now, we're just walking by the uh, these food truck, food carts real quickly. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. This is a very beautiful place. I'm very, very, very happy to be here. I didn't realize that my dad lived like right next to this place. I visited him numerous times, but I I always went to the, to the beach right down the road. Grayson Beach, I think it's called, or Grayton Beach or something like that. I never came over here. So anyway, one last look. All right, baby. There it is, guys. All right, I don't think we need to see what's going on in the parking lot, but we might as well. Here's that seaside sign. There's one on, on either side of this neighborhood or this little business district. Sea Haven. All right. All right, we're going to go back to the car. I think I'll walk you guys to the car since it's kind of in that neighborhood. And then we're going to turn down by his house one more time and go through the neighborhood on the other side. And then we're going to head out. can't believe we're here. All right, here we go. We're gonna get in the car and I'll turn it back on for a minute. See you soon. Okay, you guys. We're back in the car. We are gonna head through this area. I don't think they're gonna let us drive through the, the what I want to drive through, which is this whole area. As I said, in, in the movie, they would drive through that area, but you saw cones there. This is that area right here from the back. And we're gonna come around here. Something else, guys, this is something else. Hey, thanks, bro. I got you, I got you. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you too, man. Oops. Of course, that's my wife. <laughs> it's still Nick's fault, though. 
because he was talking to me when I got in my car. Of course, it's it's always the guy's fault, it, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Remember that, girls. You always got to be able to have the ability to turn it on them. I'm good at it. She is really good at it. <laughs> Alright, so we've gone around that little business district in the movie and we're going to head back towards his house and turn left at the end of his block. Yeah, what a trip, man. I really can't believe that we're actually here. the feeling of it's it's warm and when you step in those puddles walking they are literal it's like a jacuzzi they're warmer than like what regular warm tap water would be what would you, they're like kind of hot a little yeah yeah what <laughs> what she said <laughs> so how's that nine dollar hot dog or ten dollar hot dog is it good mm -hmm. okay good they have all, all these food trucks here, you guys, as we showed you when we were walking by. Baby, I'm rolling down your window. So you don't mind, because it's really hot outside. I don't mind. Okay. Bye, Truman Show uh, Business District, whatever you're called. Bye. Bye, Business District. All right, so we're going to come up here to Nanchez, Nanchez Street again. And... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's someone else stopped in front of the house to take a take a photo. We were talking about we can't imagine what it would be like living there because everyone comes by to take pictures. But yeah, these these houses on the beach, my goodness, they are just spectacular. Kind of reminds me of Newport a bit in some areas, but there's older money in Newport. Here's one of the streets. I think this is the one that we pull off when we do the round. No, wait, no. No, that's that's not the roundabout street. Unbelievable this place is. Pensacola Street. I think Nanchez is the next street. Let's just make sure here. I mean, look at th this neighborhood is so beautiful. Odessa. No, that's not it. It really is gorgeous. Here it is, right here. And when you watch the movie, this was a brand new neighborhood, so all these trees weren't here. It's pretty crazy. You okay, honey? Mm -hmm. okay, we're just gonna stop one more time. Here it is. All these big trees were not here. Across the street. All right, bye, Truman Show House. See all these houses all have little names. Oh, you know what? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Be dazzled. Yeah, totally. The Kirby Cottage. And it's got all the, all their names on the houses. Look at this beautiful house right here. The High Rustler. With a nice guest house. That's beautiful. Oh, that's huge. Gigantic. That's a huge house. Guys, this. Oh, wait, exit only. Do not enter. All right, so I guess we're not going that way. All right, we're going to turn right here, and then we're going to stop the video until we get to the bridge. The bridge out of town. All right. What, babe? No, I'm tasting. Why'd you get chips that you didn't... Like, no, they like taste like like the box mm. that came in. All right, so here's the main road, and once again, just look at how beautiful this neighborhood is. 
It's something else, man. Look at these big, beautiful houses on the beach. Oh my gosh. And they get even nicer up here. On the other side of these big houses, guys, is literally the beach. Wow. This is such big money in this area. Hopefully, even though a lot of you asked me to make a video here, hopefully for a lot of you who are just straight Big Bear fans and stuff like that, I hope you're okay with these. These are rare, rare videos. I'm going to post if we get a window seat. I choose the aisle seats on the planes because I get up to use the restroom a lot. Uh, but if we get a window seat, I'm going to post the takeoff and the landing just so you guys can see that too because I really enjoy that stuff. So maybe some people will. Did you like it, babe? That was a snack. I'm still hungry. Oh my gosh. She's Stop. always hungry. <laughs> I can eat, guys. You'd be surprised. Yeah, she can freaking eat. All right, so we're coming up to the bridge right here. No one's behind us, so we're going to stop just like he did. At Okay, here it is. Here it is. We're going to have to speed up so the cars behind us don't get too close. All right, here it is. Crossing water. This is the exact bridge. On both sides, see, this is it. He stops here and he hits the gas and she takes the wheel. And boom, here here they go. It's, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh no. Something big. Babe, babe. So it's, it's Florida. All right, and so once they get right here, they he's excited that they made it across. And then right up here, a few hundred yards is where they put that fire in the middle of the road to detour him from going any further. This is that. I think it was right about, right about coming up to this street is, is where the forest fire sign was and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this Truman Show video. I know I did a horrible job, but I really hope you guys enjoy some of it. We tried. It was a last minute thing. I thought you guys would really enjoy it. So that's that. And my beautiful wife. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And share with yeah. your friends. Yeah, share it. Yeah. Yeah, share it. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Thanks again, you guys, for everything. Uh, I'll be back this next Tuesday. This probably won't be posting until Tuesday or Wednesday anyway. So I'm going to post this when we get back. So you guys, it's not going to matter when I tell you guys when I'm getting back. So anyway, once again, leaving Sea Haven, Florida, a.k.a. Seaside. And we are almost to my dad's. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you all. Take care. I might add something to this, as I said, the, the takeoff and the landing of the flight. But other than that, we'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of the Truman Show. I hope I did a good job. Never expected to do anything like that. The rest of the video are bits and pieces of some beautiful parts of Florida that we got to enjoy. Some beautiful bridges, some big, huge bays. We went out onto the beach, into the water beautiful white sand beaches so hopefully you all enjoy the rest of the video take care just thought you guys might want to see this other bridge that we're cruising on going into destin florida it's pretty amazing
so grateful to be here. My dad lives in a beautiful area. This is great. But anyway, Again, this is called Destin, Florida. We're destined to have a good time. Wow, look at that, that's insane. Bridge is done, we'll be done. This is gonna go at the very end of the Truman Show video anyway. Just a little bonus footage of how beautiful this place is. Right, you guys well I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed the, the little bits and pieces of the trip that we had here um, we'll be coming back to Big Bear soon and getting back to the Big Bear videos love you guys a lot thanks again for everything we will chat with you later bye guys <laughs> bye you guys all right we found a cool little trail here in Florida it says it's a city park, but it, it's, it's more than that. This place looks pretty awesome, so we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go check it out. It's on this long wood plank with a little, it's like a little bit of a swamp area. It's pretty cool. So let's check it out. Kind of feels like you're at Disneyland a little bit walking through here. We're looking for alligators in here too. Hopefully we find some alligators, but I doubt it. Just gonna go over here. Check this out. That's just unreal, guys. This place is so beautiful. Florida is so beautiful. Everything's so green. Hey, there's my wife. <laughs> Got some bird houses up here. This place. Say hi, babe. Hey, everyone. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah, this is incredible. Hear those birds? Mm -hmm. I thought I saw an alligator. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. There's something breathing right there. 
Stop. All the bubbles? Maybe that's, I don't know what that is, but it'd be fun to take a little kayak down. Take a kayak through here. Yeah, that's what I was just saying, babe. Yeah, little benches just to rest all along this little cool trail. I mean, this is this is great. This is great. All right, shall we continue? Picture. Just pretend like we're taking a picture. All right, baby. How you doing? Nice, peaceful little spot, man. Very peaceful. It is. I come out here a lot and do nothing but just sit. I don't blame you. <laughs> this is fantastic. If it weren't for that traffic, it'd be so damn peaceful out here. I wouldn't be able to stay awake. <laughs> I'd have a hard time doing that anyway. <laughs> You ever see any gators out here? One. One. Okay. I've been coming out here just a few years, and I've seen one. Okay. Now there was uh, two two years. Well, I guess two and a half years ago. I heard some splash. I was standing right here, and I heard some splashing down here, and I thought it may be a gator. So I just sat here and waited, waited, waited. Next thing I know, a little head poked his head up right there by that tree. <laughs> wow. An otter. Oh, an otter. And next thing I know, the second otter, I guess his sister, came up here, and they didn't even see, of course, I was being quiet. They never saw me, and they were playing around. And uh, just splashing, just having a heck of a time. And they split all the way up under the bridge, and they stayed here for about a week. Wow. And they went somewhere. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I had never seen two otter in a while. They're big. I, didn't, I thought they were rather small. <laughs> You know, like a little beaver or something. Sure. Oh, they, they, these, I guess these were normal size. They were about four, five feet long. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's a good, that's a good size. Yeah. And <laughs> you don't think I'm crazy when I tell you this, but before then, you ought to see all kind of damn fish, squirrels, turtles, not squirrels, fish and turtles, all kind of stuff out here, except gators. You'd see one. Uh, but after they left, Believe it or not, there was nothing out here for about, oh gosh, probably a year. Wow. I mean, nothing. I never wow. Saw. They ate it all. I wow. guess they did. <laughs> you know, I've talked to other people about that, and we've got a theory that either they ate them all and the fish just hadn't come back yet, or maybe, you see, all this runoff comes from those woods over here. Okay. And there's a lot of farmland over so we're thinking that maybe some poison or something got into the water. That's too bad. They have run them off. That's too bad. Oh. Yeah, and I'm beginning to think that it was probably that rather than the, the otter. No, I'm, that that I'm that. They'd be back by now. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. But uh, it was a it was a good year. You just never saw anything out here. Really strange. This is a lovely place. I can't tell you how many people have stopped by here. And they walked out here and they said, you know, I've come by there probably a thousand times <laughs> and never stopped. <laughs> and they just decided today they would stop. Of course, they were all of them kind of, you know, disappointed because it's not <laughs> yeah, even. It sure. looks like it's, it goes into the woods a ways, but it, it doesn't. <laughs> this, this is it. Now, there are several people that come out here and they'll sit in these in sure. ends and, and read or, you know, just sit there and talk or whatever. So it's, it's a good place to relax. Well, thank you for letting us join you. We, we've... Well, I'm, 
you're more than welcome. I wish I could tell you some better news about this no, place. There's no. just not much to it. <laughs> no. no. Are you all from around here? <clears throat> My father lives right down the street, but we came in from uh, from Southern California. Oh, really? Yeah. You going to stay a while or you just... Uh, we've we've been here five days. We're leaving in two days from now. So yeah, it's it's. Well, there's a, if you're just looking for some place to go, there's another park just basically around the corner. It's called Mars M A R S E. Yeah. You just go down here to the first right. Okay. Uh, you'll see a red light. You yeah. Make a first right, and uh, go down until it ends. It, it doesn't even go a mile. But just go down until it ends, and it'll run right into the oil terminal. Can't miss it. Two okay. Huge tanks. So just make a left, and that'll run you right into Marsh Park. Fantastic. It, it doesn't really have a boardwalk, this, but it's got a nice place to, to sit and and think. And there's a boat ramp there, and there's bathrooms. That's one thing this place lacks, because everybody kept tearing it up, so they had to shut it off. <laughs> but that does have a. a you'll, you'll probably even the rain and stuff. You'll probably see a. You know, a trailer, boat trailer down there or something. There's just always something there. Okay. But it's a nice place to go. Walk around a little bit. Mars Park. Mars. Okay. Turn right, go down, and then make a left at the end. You got it. Sir. You got it. It ain't, it ain't two miles from there. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. You're thank you. Well, I can sit here and tell you about the half dozen of them. <laughs> no. You're leaving in two days. You won't, you won't see them. Unfortunately, we're leaving. I don't. Well, be careful. I don't want to go back. Well, I don't blame you. I lived in Los, <laughs> close up in California with Las Vegas. I lived there for 10 years. I was originally from North Louisiana. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I had too many ex-wives in Louisiana, so I had to <laughs> <laughs> So I went to Las Vegas. I stayed there 10 years uh, just basically to get away. I, I sold my house, put everything in storage. I wasn't sure where I was going to end up. And I'm not trying to bore you. but I didn't You're not boring me at all. You're not boring me at all. I had a daughter lives in, in uh, lived in New Orleans, so I decided to take a break from Las Vegas and go see her for a while. And then she she took a break from everything and moved up to Denver. And, uh, so she lives up here now. But when she left, I just decided to stay. I, I just I got kind of tired of Las Vegas. Sure. Uh, I was single and I was just blowing and going and. I just got kind of burned out, to be honest with you. No, sir, sir. Sure. You know, if you do like I did, which is, I can't really call it partying, but I was doing something every day. Yeah. And uh, I did. I just got kind of burned out and was actually planning on going back by now, but I have, I'm just going to stay here. Stay. Yeah. Stay. Went stay here. I went and bought a house, got plenty of water. I like the water. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot to do around here. The longer you stay here, the more you'll find to do. Sir. Sure. Just a lot to do, and I'd love to tell you about it. But like I said, if you're going back in two days, you won't have. To yeah, go. we're going back. You know, <laughs> my name's Nick, by the way. Mike. Mike. Yes, Pleasure sir. to meet you. That's Pleasure. my wife, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi. <laughs> you're a pretty thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not you. Hey, Mike. Thank you, man. You are welcome. You, be careful, you take care. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Have a good one. What a nice guy. That's that's the southern love down here. And he's from a real southern area in Louisiana. Wow, I'm getting bit all over my head. Ew. Oh my gosh, if I give my oh my gosh, please. No. You are really? Yeah. It's alright though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know if I'm gonna make this a separate video, but I'm probably I'll probably put it at the very end of the Truman video or not. I don't know. I think I'll make this a separate video. He seems like he's at peace, big time. <laughs> Wish you guys could smell the swamp smell.
I mean, it smells like a swamp, so it, it's not the greatest smell, but just... I would love to bring a raft and just raft around in here. You would never get in that water, babe. Come on. No, you, <laughs> you would never even get close. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't think about touching it with my feet, but I guess you do have to get in it. Yeah. Put a raft in it, so never mind. All right, guys. That's it. Hopefully you're enjoying our trip to Florida. Peace out, everybody. Big Bear weather and more in Florida. <laughs> Bye, you guys. What up, y'all? Just adding a few extra scenes to this video of this beautiful Florida trip. We're going to Creighton Beach right now. Um, say hi, babe. Hey, everybody. This is our last day here, but we are on this tram going to the beach from the parking area. So I thought I would show you guys the tram ride because it's very beautiful over here. I'm talking some incredible homes as well, but any nice beach community is gonna have some, some, some beautiful, beautiful houses. you all aren't getting too annoyed with this video but I'm trying to capture as much of the trip that I can so I can remember it and these trams are pretty awesome you guys So we're just waiting now. We're heading back. We're heading to the beach. Just hang tight. Giving you the whole experience. Wait till you see how white the sand is here, it's crazy. If we're not going to be here too long, I don't think I'll put on any of the sunscreen. No, we're going to put sunscreen. I just want to get in and out, you know? off right here there's a little a little town over here some bars and restaurants and last time I was here a couple years ago there was a huge biker thing going on here hi babe you ready All right. this is gonna be a long video but it's gonna be worth it I hope Thanks, my man. Enjoy your day. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, let's see here. Look at that house, guys. It's got an infinity pool right here, huh? Kind of an infinity pool. 
not super infinity. Yeah, I know. I was, that's the house I was just I talking I'd, about. I'd want anybody to see my body underwater, but. <laughs> <laughs> this place is for sale right here. Wow. Right on the water, or on the beach. Can you imagine waking up here every single day? So hot, you guys. Yeah, the sand's not the sand will here. Watch out, babe. We're in the road. And cars can drive on the beach here, which is kind of cool. It's so beautiful, you guys. It is so beautiful. Glad that we get to share it with you and bring you along. I know it's not Big Bear weather stuff, but we've been with you guys for a long time. Hopefully you guys are cool with this. go in that open spot right there. I'm telling you what guys, this water is so dang hot. It's not like our California water, which is miserable to jump in. What a beautiful place. This white sand beach is just amazing. All right, well, that's gonna be it for right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this little part of the beach. I think we're gonna, we're gonna set up a shop right here and then we're gonna be done with the video. Look at that. You want to set up right here, baby? Just a beautiful, beautiful place. Wow. Baby. All right, we're gonna let you guys go, but hope you Hope you guys enjoyed the little beach tour as well. As I said, I know it's a long video of a bunch of stuff not to do with Big Bear weather, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Peace out, you guys. Love you guys very much. You know what? I decided to take you guys in the water for a second. This water is so warm, you guys have no idea. It's like a jacuzzi. It really is. Hopefully, I'll drop the phone. My luck, I will, though. It's nice, you guys. It's a nice beach over here. Alright, so this is going to be it. I promise this is going to be it. Welcome to Florida. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Let's say hi to the wife. Hey, babe. All right, this time I told them we're for real saying bye. This is the last, the last part of the trip, so I love you guys. Bye, everybody. Take care, everyone. We'll see you back in Big Bear. Peace out, everyone.